Hello, I'm Norman Walberger, and we're here at the University of New South Wales. This is problem 26 of chapter 5 of Math 1131 Linear Algebra. We're asked to find the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix, A, and use that to solve this linear system AX equals C. All right, there are a couple of different ways of calculating a inverse of a matrix. For the 3x3 three three case, we're going to use a method using row reduction. Okay? So we perform the following operation. The idea is we're going to start with a kind of an augmented matrix where we have the given matrix A as part of an augmented matrix and the identity matrix on the right-hand side. And then the idea is that we're going to row reduce till we get the identity matrix on the left-hand side, and then what we have on the right-hand side will be the inverse matrix. All right, so that's the plan. That's how we're going to find the inverse matrix. So let's proceed. It's kind of a row reduction with a big augmented matrix. We have our original matrix A here on the left, and the identity matrix of the same size on the right. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this entry here as a pivot entry to eliminate the entries below it. All right, so let's do that. So I'm going to keep that first row where it is, 1 minus 1, 1, and then 1, 0, 0. And I'm going to take the second row, subtract the first row. That's 0, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 0. All right, so I've taken row 2, and I've subtracted row 1 to get the new row 2. And the new row 3 is going to be the old row 3, minus 3 times row 1. So this row minus 3 times the first one will give us a 0 here. Minus 2 minus 3 times minus 1, it's like plus 3, so that's a total of 1. And then 2 minus 3 times 1 is minus 1. 0 minus 3 times that is minus 3. 0 minus 3 times 0 is 0. And 1 minus 0 is 0. All right, good. And now we are going to uh, want to perform the same kind of business on the next rows. We might make things a little bit simpler by getting a 1 in the uh, position where we want it there. We could do that by dividing the second row by Two, but that would involve fractions. So let me just quickly interchange the two last rows. 0, 1, minus 1, minus 3, 0, 1, and 0, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 0. All right, so we've interchanged rows 2 and 3 to get into this position. Now we're in a happy situation because we have a 1 in the pivot uh, place where we want it, and we're going to use that to get rid of the 2 below it. All right, so what do we get? We get 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. This stays where it is. And we're going to take row 3 minus 2 times row 2. So 2 minus 2 times this row. 0. This minus 2 times that will be just 1. This minus 2 times that, so that's like plus 6, total of 5. This minus 2 times that, and 0 minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. All right, good. So we're kind of halfway through the row reduction. We've got it in row echelon form. Now we to get in re fully reduced row echelon form, we have to go backwards. We'll start with this entry and use it as a pivot element to get rid of everything in the column above it. All right, so that's going to give us the bottom one will stay 0, 0, 1, 5, 1, minus 2. And then we're going to add this row to the row above it, giving us 0, 1, 0, and then uh, 2, 1, minus 1. So we've taken row 2, and it's row 2 plus row 3. And to uh, row 1, we're going to uh, subtract 
row 3 from it. So giving us 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 5 is minus 4. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 0 minus minus 2 is 2. All right. So we've taken row 1, and it's row 1 minus row 3. All right, good. Now we are going to perform our last step, which is to take this pivot element and use it to eliminate the one above it. And so we're just going to add row 2 to row 1. So row 1 is going to be the old row 1 plus row 2. And that will give us, well, we'll start from the bottom, 0, 0, 1, 5, 1, minus 2. And then 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, minus 1. And then we're going to add this row to the previous top one. That's 1, 0, 0. And 2 plus minus 4 is minus 2. 1 plus minus 1 is 0. And minus 1 plus 2 is 1. So there it is in fully reduced row echelon form. That's the form we started with. And so this is the matrix uh, A inverse right here. So A inverse is the matrix 2, minus 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, minus 1, 5, 1, minus 2. That's a 0. There's the mat inverse matrix to the matrix we started with. And so now if we return to part B, which is to solve AX equals C for X, if C equals C1, C2, C3. So we can say to solve AX equals C, we write X equals A inverse times C. It's a basic way of solving this kind of system in a matrix form using the inverse matrix. If we multiply both sides by A inverse, then we get X on the left and A inverse times C on the right. And here is the matrix A inverse that we have just found. And so we have to multiply by this general vector C1, C2, C3. And what do we get when we do that? Well, just a matrix times a vector. We know how to do that. The first entry is the first row times the first column. There's only one column. So that's minus 2 C1 plus 0 C2 plus C3. And then the second row times the column. That's 2 C1 plus C2 minus C3. And then the third row times the column, which is 5 C1 plus C2 minus 2 C3. All right. So there's the general solution to this system AX equals C for a general right-hand side C1, C2, C3 computed by finding the inverse matrix and just doing the multiplication.